Today we are going to make honan. Nan is our ultimate daily food in our Uyghur family. There are uh, lots of variation of making nan and there are also lots of kinds nan such as tunu nan, sepe nan, baza nan, oi nan and very thick nan, thin nan. And today we are going to make steamed nan. We need of course a steamer and a grinder and herb such as basil but it's optional if you don't like basil you don't need to um, use basil yeast black pepper Sichuan pepper salt some oil and some flour first we are going to make uh, dough and let it rest for about 50 minutes I'm going to use tap water warm water and you can check this by put warm water on your wrist when you feel it feels like body temperature, it's good. So we are going to make dough. It's very fun and nice process because I enjoy making dough. It reminds me my mom. She make makes lots of handmade food. And by the way, I put yeast and salt into the flour. Put a little by little water into the dough, whisk like this, and at the same time grab the flour to combine all the ingredients and the flour to make a smooth dough. Now use your fist, do some workout, use your whole body and press the dough like this. Bam, 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 and then flip it and fold the dough like this press it again you will see some dry spots and wet that dry spot and continue with the kneading I'm almost done with the kneading don't forget to cover the dough with a wet towel and we are going to let it rest for about 15 minutes I'm also going to use a onion and I'm going to bake this in oil so the oil gets uh, onion flavor but this is optional you don't need to use onion if you don't like onion don't slice the onion too fine just like this put the oil into the pan then add the onion very simple easy peasy let it simmer in the oil In the meanwhile, we are going to grind the citron pepper. But before grind, grind the citron pepper, we are going to clean it up because some citron pepper like this, it has black seeds in it. It's hot. You don't want to put this in the food. So only the husks, we need to grind this. The oil is ready. I'm going to take out the onion, squeeze it a little bit like this and let the oil cool down. We need to use basil powder, so I'm going to uh, grind this basil leaves as well. I put it together with the citron pepper and grind them together. The basil and citron pepper, they are ready. Now I'm going to put the black pepper and salt into the grinder as well. Mix them up. After about 15 minutes, we are going to roll out the dough. And first of all, we are going to lubricate the steamer so we can put all the steam, um, all the buns in the steamer and let them rise in the steamer the dough looks good sprinkle some flour on the working surface so the dough doesn't stick to the table 
very little now we are going to roll out the dough I'm going to try to make a rectangle form because we are going to fold the dough and in this way we can use all the edges if you see like this bubbles on the dough that means the dough is good try to make a even smooth dough As you can see, the thickness of the dough is like this, not too thin. Make loose the dough before you fold the dough. Lubricate the dough with the oil, all the edges of the dough, lubricate it very evenly. Don't use too much oil, just a layer of oil. Now we are going to sprinkle the spices and the herbs on the dough so I'm going to clean up my hand sprinkle all the spices very gentle and even on the dough don't forget the edges it's also very important cover the dough with the spices and clean your hands again now with clean hands we are going to fold the dough like this don't press it too hard, make the edges even. This looks good. I'm going to cut the dough and it's three fingers wide. Now, fun part. Pick one, you can fold the dough first like this let all the layers stay together and then stretch the dough and then twist look this you want to stay let it stay on the top and then the bottom don't forget to pinch it's a little different from the first one and then put these little cuties in the steamer don't forget to cover the pan and let them rise for about one hour after about one hour these little cute buns have risen now I'm going to put hot water to steam the buns it's ready Use spatula to take them out. They look beautiful. beautiful layered steamed buns or none they are ready you can serve this with almost everything like soups stew and stir fried vegetables with lots of delicious foods together i hope you like this recipe and if you like the recipe don't forget to like the video subscribe to the channel and see you next week Bye.